Hello and welcome to another tutorial from Coding Demos. In this tutorial, you're going to learn how you can turn on and turn off the Bluetooth on your physical device. One thing I would like to highlight to you guys is the Bluetooth capability is not supported by the Android emulator as it's being highlighted in the documentation here. If you look at the limitation section, one of them is the Bluetooth. So during this tutorial, I'll be using the physical device. And with that, let me show you the, the final result. Okay, so let's get started. Open up Android Studio, and what we have here is a normal button. It's called Button Blue, and it's connected to the the activity here, the XML file, and it has an ID. Okay, during this tutorial, we'll be working with three files: the Java file, the XML, and finally the manifest file. Okay, and for this tutorial we will be using something called Bluetooth adapter. Let me show you that in the documentation. So this Bluetooth adapter basically gives you the ability to detect whether the device support Bluetooth or you can actually enable and disable the Bluetooth and so much more. And we'll be using that for this tutorial. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to check if the device has the Bluetooth capability and to do that we'll do an F checking here so that if you can do it actually inside like the on create or you can put it inside the uh, the button here so the moment the user taps on the button then first it will check but we'll, for, for this example we'll just put it outside the button and before we write that let's just declare that first and that will be Bluetooth adapter. We'll give it a simple name, Bluetooth adapter, and we'll initialize it here. Bluetooth adapter equals to get get default. Yep, that's the first one. Bluetooth adapter dot get default adapter. Then we will check if the Bluetooth adapter is equal to null which means the device doesn't have a Bluetooth capability, we will show a toast message. The context would be main activity dot this. The message would be this device doesn't support Bluetooth. A simple message. Let's get, let's let me put this in a new line and let me change the length to long all right here we're checking if the adapter if the device doesn't have a bluetooth capability show this toast message we will do another check what we want to do here we need to check if the if the bluetooth is on and we'll do it like this bluetooth adapter dot is enabled let me just put the explanation mark here before that then we will check if the Bluetooth is not enabled, which means it is off, then we will do, we need to change the label of the button blue to set text, turn Bluetooth on. So if it's, if it's not enabled, that will be on. If it's enabled, then just change, take this, paste it back here, change this to off. All right, and you can see here in the F condition it says there is a missing permission. So the Bluetooth adapter that is, is enabled require the Bluetooth permission. We'll do it right now. Just hover your mouse over this, the arrow line, 
you can see a red bulb just click on the arrow and choose the first option that says add permission bluetooth and the permission is added inside the manifest file double check that by clicking on the manifest and here we have the permission let me just give a, put a space between them and this is the permission all right okay next is inside the the button blue here when the user taps on the button we need to check the status the current status of the Bluetooth and we'll do the same thing as well here let me just copy this the reason I did I did put uh, the reason I did it like this is the moment you launch the app right then I immediately check the status of the Bluetooth if it's not enabled then just set the label on this button otherwise set it as false uh, as off sorry and here inside when the user taps on the button inside the on-click listener I need to check if it's not enabled then here is we need to enable that and to enable the Bluetooth we need to use attend and we need to use the start activity for resolve so attend would be attend and we will give it Bluetooth Bluetooth attend attempt equals to new attempt here we need to pass a constant and that would be the Bluetooth adapter dot action and we need to look for enabled request enabled that's the first one and there was semicolon next we need to start the activity for result and we'll pass two things we'll pass the attempt which is the Bluetooth attempt and the request code now we don't have the request code we'll create that one here and that will be public static final int and we'll call this bluetooth I don't know why I always type double t for some reasons alright bluetooth underscore request underscore code and we'll initialize that to one make sure you initialize it with a value other than zero for this example we'll give it a one and in for the, the inside the start activity for result will pass attempt which is this Bluetooth attempt and the second value would be the Bluetooth request Bluetooth request code alright next else now here we're checking if it's not enabled start activity for result to enable that if it is enabled then just take this copy this and sorry if it's enabled first we need to call Bluetooth adapter and disable that then we'll change the label to should be on sorry not off because if it's on if it's not uh, if it's not on then start the activity for result if it is on disable it and the label will be set to on okay and Android Studio is complaining again if you hover your mouse over this and it says missing permission required Bluetooth adapter disabled it needs Bluetooth admin because right now we'll be working with enabling and disabling so we need this permission the same thing uh, hover your mouse over this you get this red bulb uh, click on the arrow and choose the one first one which is add permission Bluetooth admin click that the arrow is gone double check that in the manifest file and we have the second permission which is here all right back to the main activity and disable the Bluetooth and changing the label of the button great now we'll do the start activity for result and to do that should be outside of the onCreate function and we'll do on uh, start sorry on activity because I already started it now we need to get the result okay here we need to check if the request code is okay which means the result was successful and the the Bluetooth permission was enabled what do we do next so inside the if condition we do if the request code sorry the re 
result code should be result code equals to result underscore OK so if the result was OK permission was granted what do we do we show toast message give this main activity as the context and the message would be Bluetooth is on okay oops all right now we have this and then another thing is we need to change the label of the button to this since it is on now it is on then show the label as off all right now if the result wasn't okay it could be like okay uh, we'll make it more specific else if the let me just copy this if the else if the request code result code sorry is result cancelled cancelled could be when the user taps on the deny because as I've showed you earlier as the permission uh, as the permission box pop up it shows it shows uh, two actions allow and deny allow basically means the result was okay the user types on it and the result was okay deny goes to this section whereby the result was cancelled so if the result was cancelled then okay if the result was cancelled we'll show a toast message saying that the Bluetooth operation was cancelled Bluetooth operation is cancelled all right let me just clean this a bit okay let's go over, let's go over the code once one more time and that would be button we have it here Bluetooth adapter is initialized we're checking if the the adapter is null that means the device doesn't support Bluetooth then here we will check if the Bluetooth adapter dot is enabled it's not enabled which means the Bluetooth is off then change the label of the button to Bluetooth is on else Bluetooth will be off and then when the user taps on the blue button then we will check again what is the status of the Bluetooth if it's not enabled then we will use the Bluetooth attempt passing in the Bluetooth adapter dot request enable that's where to enable the Bluetooth and we'll start activity for result passing in the intent and the request code now if the Bluetooth is is on then you turn that off by calling the Bluetooth adapter to disable and you set the label of the button to on here inside the on activity results we're checking for the result if the result was okay you show a toast message saying that the Bluetooth is on and you change the label of the button to turn Bluetooth off now if the user taps on the deny or for, uh, if user taps on deny then we will handle that inside the result cancelled we will show a simple toast message that the Bluetooth operation is cancelled now when you run the app on your physical device you should be able to see the same thing as I've showed you in the earlier output all right so that's basically for this tutorial I hope you enjoyed this tutorial thank you so much for watching and happy coding.